Hey friends, Chef Wainena here. This comforting and delicious lentil soup is so easy to make at home. Perfect on cold night as well as makes a perfect dinner or lunch on any day of the week. It's a soup that I enjoy all the time. Let's get to prepping for this delicious soup, but if you are here, please remember subscribing to my channel as a way of supporting it. For this comforting soup, we need three cups of lentils. I have green lentils here. You always want to pick through the lentils. Pick through these lentils for any sand and also rinse them through the sink to remove any dirt. Dice one yellow onion. Put the onions aside, garlic, chop this garlic, that looks good to me, just a small knob ginger. This should be enough for what we need. Now into this shallow pot set on medium high heat, add two tablespoons vegetable oil. Once the oil is hot, add the onions. Saute this until they start getting translucent. With the onion starting to turn color, add ginger, garlic. Saute them for about 30 seconds to release their aromas. A teaspoon tomato paste goes in. Add the spices, coriander, cumin, garam masala, turmeric, paprika, pinch red pepper flakes, and black pepper. Just slightly toast these spices, just so aromatic. For spices, you can actually use whatever you have in your house or in your pantry. These are my preferences, but you can switch. Now add finely diced tomatoes. You can use canned tomatoes. Note at this point we haven't added the salt. It tends to create a tough skin with the legumes. Add some cilantro stems, saving the leaves for finishing. And at the same time, our tomatoes have cooked it down. Add the three cups soaked lentils. You can use red lentils for this recipe too, or whatever kind of lentils are available in your area or in your local markets. Add water, about four cups. A good time too, you can use vegetable stock or chicken stock if you want to. 
we will finish this soup with some coconut milk and yogurt at the end the colors look amazing already put the lid back cook for about 20 minutes or so or until the lentil starts softening and then we'll finish with a can of coconut milk I have red orange and yellow peppers carrot zucchini cut this bell pepper in half that's all we need diced into small pieces now these bell peppers goes onto this sheet pan peel medium sized carrot and then cut it into small dice all these vegetables will be roasted in the oven they will go on top of the soup more as a garnish you can also opt to cook all these vegetables with the soup for a more hardier and rustic soup one medium sized zucchini washed Zucchini onto the sheet pan. Some salt. Cracked black pepper. Drizzle with some olive and vegetable oil blend. This go into a 425 oven for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the vegetables are cooked through. Just before I do the cleanup, as the lentil soup continues to cook, chop the cilantro for garnishing and finishing. Now head to the sink, do some cleanup, which is important as you work in the kitchen. These lentils have been cooking for about 25 minutes now. They are starting to soften. Add a good amount of salt. Remember we never added any salt in the beginning. Lemon juice. A canned coconut milk. More water to cover. Bring the heat all the way up. Once it comes to a boil, lower to the lowest setting. Now this pot has come back to a boil. Give it a good stir. Check for the seasoning, especially the salt. Just a touch more. Also check for these lentils. Almost there. Mm. Lower the heat. Now to finish this soup, give it a few bars with an emulsion blender. You can use a regular blender. Look at that. Looks so good now. Nice creamy. Let it bubble up just so slightly, maybe about five minutes. Reduce just so slightly and bring all those flavors together. Ready to go to the table. All vegetables are done. They add a good texture and contrast to the soup. 
So friends, there you have it, our beautiful creamy lentil soup into a bowl. Our roasted vegetables goes right on top, giving the soup a very beautiful contrast. A dollop of yogurt, you can skip this, but it gives nice creaminess to the soup some extra virgin olive oil and just a touch of cilantro and there you have it mm, give this soup a good taste mm. 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 So I hope this is a recipe that you can do in your own kitchen. Please remember subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.